Oh, my baby. You look stunning, my little angel, just like your father. Thank you, Papa. I just, just like you. Not you, you little shit. My turret. <laughs> Torbjorn is, is a character, for sure. Probably the best character in Overwatch when paired with his turret, of course, but only if you know where to put her. Here's nine spots. Get on with it already. Let's talk about this one here on Midtown, shown at the start. This one was shown to me by one of the high up members of the Torbjorn Nation, and it's a very cheeky one on the second phase of the map. If you come back round to the defender's first spawn, it'll expose the back side of this wall, with this second wall to the side. Now, place your turret so that it lands on the grey pole beside it, as this will give it some extra height, allowing it to peek just over the wall and hit the oncoming fellas. Now on over to Eichenwald, there's actually two defending ones I want to show here. The first being on first point, and this one is as defensive as defensive gets. Throwing it up into this corner will give you a slim sightline onto the point side where you'll be defending from, which can prove to be most distracting for the attackers. And the second one on Eichenwald is at the final point, and it's a good one to apply far away pressure onto the front line. By coming round to the back of the map then up to the high ground, you can throw a turret against the ceiling to land onto the chandelier top, and this turret will see all the way down the main straight and is kind of tricky to hit from afar. Now for an offensive spot, yay, I know, a rare thing for Torbjorn, but you can come up to the high ground bridge when you have control of the push bot and place a turret on the far left of the barrier side of this high ground and this will shoot at the side choke through the tree and can see the main choke too. This one can of course be replicated on the other side because it's a push map, it's pretty much a mirror image. This one personally took me a while to learn how to set up but it's a very useful one to defend the bridge choke on Dorado. Now you see the little compass arms at the top of this water fountain. Well, the one that faces back to your defending spawn room, position yourself in front of that at the end of the water fountain and line up the middle of your molten pipe with the top of the fountain and it'll add up top on the compass and it gives you a good sightline at the choke and flank route. You just lost the first point on Junkertown defense, so after respawning, head up these stairs to place a sneaky one for the early payload stage here. Now many people don't know this, but you can actually use this wall as a stepping stone. You see how there's like a, a stair shape in the wall? So mount the wall and go over to the right, and then place a turret far back on this wall, and it will give you a fairly covered up angle to the main straight, and can hit the high grounds too. Here's a hybrid spot on Ilios, meaning it can be used on attack or defense situationally of course. On Ilios well that is, take the high ground from spawn and head on out to the left side balcony, or the right side if it's flipped, and stand on the edge of the high ground. From here you want to toss a turret up onto this little roof corner, that's right, you'll need to jump off the edge and toss over towards the right side of it and it'll slide down the roof and land on that flat bit, which will provide good offensive and defensive sightlines for the point. Havana is back in the map pool now, so here's a sly little turret for this last choke point. Head down and to the right, through the hole in the wall, and then down to the left once again. From here you can see the bridge area, and if you put a turret down just behind this small rock formation on the corner, the rocks will block the bottom half of the turret, and this can snipe the bridge area from way over here. The final spot on the list is on Shambali, and it took us a hot minute to find. It defends this main stretch that the attackers push up, and it also hits part of the side flank round to the edge of the map. You'll be throwing it up over this wall by aiming at the side wall and throwing it behind. Now, notice how I'm about to mess it up here. It slides forward, which is still good, but we want it to go over the wall and slide backwards like this. That way the wall provides coverage for the turret, which will peek over to that main straight and as you can see, hit the flank entrance too, which I personally find to be most poltritudinous. <laughs>